I'd love to go back to Europe. They prioritize them. What? Your immigration? What is your That's not white. Huh. Do you think this is white?
I found. I mean, that's that's the common theme with uh, a lot of these things. And uh, if you look at South Africa, they took they started taking down monuments. How's the globalist? Okay. 
each other back, bro? Do they give each other money? Do they give each other money? They do, don't they? Shake that head and say yes, that Alexander David Durham exchanged money. Oh, she lost. She's walking away. Come on. We're just getting started. Without a gun, they can't get none. Without a gun, they can't get none. Without a gun, they can't get none. Without a gun, I want to give you a little picture of what's going on right now. Um, there was a lot of police activity in full riot gear. They basically quarantined off um, the very center of the park. I'll show you, it's basically broken up into a bunch of mini protests. Um, largely, there's a lot less activity between the two groups mingling now, besides a few little things there. You can see there are a lot of interesting signs and people out here. This lovely lady who's here to laugh at people with flaccid penises, I don't know, grown women, but who knows. There is a huge presence of BLM here. The anti-fascistas just about everywhere. But I want to show you some of the more interesting parts. And again, I'm just showing you one of the mini um, grants, uh, one of the more of the, the mini protests of what's going on, sorry. Um, but what we saw a little bit earlier was a lot of macing. Uh, I hear that baked Alaska. And I think uh, Richard Spencer also got mace. Okay, here we go. Right, guys are starting to move in now. Okay, one second, let me show you what I'm walking towards here. Right, police right behind us, they're starting to take steps. As you can see right up there, cops and army, snipers. Oh yeah, they got their spotting scopes. They're fully loaded over there. These guys are walking right on us. I'll remind you that, that uh, the alt-right, uh, Jason Kessler, they did receive a federal order that they were allowed to to march here. They were allowed to come in and have a peaceful protest here. Um, the next day, look at what happens. We've got riot police, full gear, pretty decked out. I'm not entirely sure why they're stepping in more, to be honest. Again, there you got some military up there. I mean, things are relatively peaceful right now at this point, just because of the fact that there is some sort of division of the two groups. I'm seeing some media here. I, I'm blocked. I'm not allowed to go any further. Folks, every single time that I get closer, the cops tell me why we're not allowed to move any closer. Hi there, sir. So, little update. It's been declared a state of emergency. Um, Again, it's very confusing as to why. Uh, you saw on Richard Spencer's Periscope a little bit earlier when these riot gear cops were walking in. He said, we just want to march peacefully. We saw them do that in D.C. Of course, once the uh, anti-fascistas come. All right, they're moving. I'm not looking to get arrested. I'd like to get home at some point. Um, but he said, we're not looking to, uh, we're not looking to, to uh, cause any problems. But of course, the anti-fascists come up with their mace, their dog spray. It's pretty wild. I, I don't know why they're marching in on us. This seems so ridiculous. Like, nothing is happening right now here. It's... Uh, I, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. You know, it's hilarious to me that so many of these people um, were part of the BLM riots. And these houses here would be smashed right now if this was a BLM protest. But like five minutes into this, it was supposed to start at 12 p.m. local time noon. It's just past 12 right now, and already it's been shut down before even beginning. I, I don't understand what they're planning on doing here. Local assembly. You're leaving me, and you're in immediately. You're going to be arrested. How many handcuffs do you have for all these people? The authority of the Commonwealth of Virginia. This event has been declared an unlawful assembly. You are leaving the area immediately, or you will be arrested. You are leaving the area immediately, or you will be arrested. 
So did all the uh, identity Europa slash whatever the fuck, did they all disperse or what? Oh shit, here's some of them. Here's some of them.
Marcial, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. Yep. But hey, I think today was pretty senseless overall. Yeah. Whoa, what's over here? Holy shit! Hey, stand down right now! Stand down! Get down! Get down! Stand down! Stand down! All right, all right, shit! You're attacking us, mom! Just yeah, stop them! Do your job, man! Do your job, criminals! Do your job, criminals! Do your job, criminals! Or you hurt yourself? Hey, we're leaving! Do your fucking job! That was a crazy skirmish in the parking garage. Saw a dude get worked over pretty good. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was pretty fucking chaotic. The quality was probably really shitty. Alright. Come on! Y'all out here protecting these motherfuckers. Come on, y'all. Wake the fuck up. Wake up! Get out of here. Wake up! Go! Y'all fuck that city up. What's happening over there? Wake up! There was a huge skirmish in that uh, parking garage. I never said woke, dude. <laughs> I never said woke. You should be beating Damn, dude, that guy got fucked. <laughs>
money that motivates politicians? And if so, what's behind that money and who is the person that pays for it? For liberals, that man is George Soros. And these, these are leaked memos from the desk of the billionaire progressive. They tell us what's behind that money. And let me just say, it should scare us. Let's take a look at the secrets behind his money. Soros, secret number one. George Soros wants the refugee crisis in Europe to be painted as the new normal. He says the crisis is the perfect tool to influence immigration policies on the global level. Remember, George Soros is a radical here. He's no moderate. He doesn't believe in nations. He doesn't believe in borders. Soros funds anti-Semitic groups that call Israel racist, all the while paying for smear campaigns against conservative activists here at home. Remember when Bernie Sanders railed against greedy capitalists? Well, that's George Soros he's talking about. And when Soros snaps his fingers, Hillary jumps to the tune of $7 million from Soros to her super PACs. And then what do we hear from the media about this? Radio silence, people. Nothing. Why won't the media report on this story? Look at the New York Times. Nothing. The Washington Post. Nothing. No stories. CNN. Nothing there. CBS News. Nope. Not there either. So why? Are they afraid? Is there something we need to investigate here? Does Soros have influence over media companies? Is he controlling the narrative while erasing his own name? And if so, why? Guys, there's a full-on demonstration now going on in the streets. Hundreds and hundreds of Antifa, weird BLM, idiots dressed like clowns, and they're just taking to the street. This is okay, so long as you're not the alt-right. The alt-right wasn't allowed to demonstrate any show of force. The alt-right wasn't allowed to legally exercise their permit. BLM, and all of a sudden the cops don't care. Where's the riot police now? I'm trying to give you a little bit more of a picture here. Hold on. Shoot, one second. Yeah. Imagine. There's no permit for this, guys. They're declaring this a victory. Because cops in white gear shut down, shut down the alt right. But these guys are allowed to march, no problem. Black Lives Matter is allowed to march, alt right is not. Our streets, our streets, our streets. They are your streets. They are your streets. Because there's freedom of assembly for one group and not for another. There's freedom of protest for one group but not another. You don't need a, a permit if you're anti spot but if you have a permit and you're in the alt-right, you're not allowed to mingle, you're not allowed to talk about ideas. Charge, chant some George Soros slogans and you're good to go. You can, you can assemble any time you want. These are your streets. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm a little bit trapped in here one second. Let me get out to the periphery. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Bye, Are you with the alt right? If you with the alt right, get from me. Get away from here. Get away from here. Get away from here. They're very inclusive. I'm looking to learn about inclusion, guys. I'm just looking to learn about inclusion and diversity. I'm here to learn about multiculturalism, and I'm here to learn about how how diverse groups lead to very high trust societies. All right, here you go. The full on demonstration. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, someone's in cars. 
just ran over a whole bunch of protesters. A lot of people got hit. A lot of people got hit. That does not look good. That does not look good. That does not look good. She's badly hurt. There's a black woman driving in here. Okay. Right. We need medics. We need ambulance. I'm gonna go see if I can find someone who can find us an ambulance. Hold on one second. This is like high level bystander apathy effect right now. I'm getting right off the street. I'm getting right off the street right now. Where the hell are the police? Literally, there are no police for the first time today. There we go. What is that? We need medics here right away. All right, it's a black woman driving in here. I do not know what happened there. Her car obviously was seriously crammed. There's someone who looks like they are in very bad shape over there. They're trying to stop the bleeding. Another woman here. Please go ahead. Oh, Kathleen! Kathleen! You're gonna be okay, ma'am. You're gonna be okay. Are you a medic? Here, this way, this way, this way. That lady right there looks like they're trying to stop the bleeding. Right there. If you're not right there. Ma'am, right over there. Right over there. Alright, some of the medics are coming through right now. Holy smokes. If you guys were watching that on my periscope here right now, that was terrifying. What just happened? Okay. You're gonna have to clear the streets, guys. Absolutely. Alright, cops are coming now. Here they come. Here they come. I saw one girl, it looked like she got herself right in between two of the cars there. My god. Oh. This is an absolute failure of police. An absolute failure. They were here for the whole time in riot gear, and as soon as Antifa starts marching, they decide it's time to stop patrolling. There are just little pockets like this everywhere. Yep, yep, I'm gonna respect you. She's gonna be on camera, I got that. What happened there? I wonder if that was a human who created that dent right there. I'm, I'm getting right off the sideway, side, sidewalk, guys. I just don't know who the hell else has any fancy ideas over here. Okay. All right, guys. So it would appear that we were right in the thick of it. Cops are now coming in. Some ambulance, I'm hoping. There are some uh, just impromptu medics, folks who walk around with red crosses on them. Not, I think, part of the official red cross, but just, um, just medics. All right. Here we go. Dispersing. All right, I'm gonna sneak in here. Sorry, guys. Thank you. 
Very crowded. This street, right, fr right in front of us, I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm right now. Some, someone. Uh, I don't know if it was deliberate or if they just slammed on the accelerator because it was a high stress situation. I do not know. Um, but we did see one woman who was inside a car that was really badly rear-ended. I saw at least one girl who seemed to get stuck in between those cars. Now they're after having absolutely no emergency crews on the ground at the initial moments of this. There is an absolute swarm of them. We've got state police. We've got fire. We've got a giant military vehicle over there. Make the whole the All right, I'm gonna get out of the way here. You see people creating human-like fences to. Uh, Protect. I think that's the girl that I saw get caught in between the cars, to be honest. Oh, poor girl. Oh my god, at least she's responsible. How's no! no! that? Alright, we're being ordered to move back. Alright, we're being told to move back. I'm going to be respectful here. We've got the flatbeds right now. I saw at least one girl who's bleeding. Um, in the back of her thigh, it looked like they were trying to stop. Um, one girl who looked to have a, a, a deformed leg of sorts. I don't know if it was just a lump uh, or if there was actually uh, bones that were mm, somehow moved around. There are people as far as out here who seem to be injured. About 50 meters out. Is where his leg is fucked up. There have got to be, yeah, I mean, shy of a dozen, I'd say, people who, who seem to be injured here. Helicopter up top. Hey. Oh. God bless. Faith, nice to meet you. God bless you. Did you see what happened over there? Yeah, uh, there's a car that came down right through that alleyway. Yeah. Uh, probably 40 miles an hour. They just came down and mowed a bunch of people, hit a couple cars. Uh, I was right there, I was about 10 feet away, back up, and then it just reversed, hit some more people on the way up, and then it was gone. What the hell? Did you see who was driving it, or what kind of car it was? Uh, it kind of looked like a Dodge Charger, it was gray and black, something like that. But, uh, All right, that maybe we should tell some officers then. Yeah. What do you think? Excuse me, officer? Yeah. Officer? Uh, you want to just let them know? Just because if, if the car's still in the area, it's probably a good idea that they find that car. Yeah. Hey? Okay? Free water. All right, well, hopefully he takes Free care water. of that. Free water. y'all stay in the sun. I see you're not drinking water. People just bewildered, standing around. Okay. Well... We learned at least one important lesson today. When the cops don't show up to these things, it's not good news for anyone. Sorry, I'm so sweaty and gross right now. I apologize, I was running. The car is on your reply, fam. Can you guys can you guys rewind in the video or is that, does Periscope even allow you? Does anyone remember what, what we saw? Maybe I'll get out of this video and I'll go I'll go find it and report it to police. 
because I, I imagine, wow. These are some horrific images here. I'm moving, sir. Charger, right? Yeah, okay, thanks guys. Thanks guys. Officer, just so you know, a lot of people got it on camera and it would seem that it was a gray charger that, that, that did the initial. Alright, they know. Okay, cool. Alright. Where's the National Guard? Good question, guys. Yeah, guys, feel free to rip this video and share. I, I don't mind whatsoever. Go for it. You have the license plate. Okay, well, if you guys want to DM me the license plate, whoever got it, my DMs are open. Oops, hello. Seems like a strange, strange thing to bring.
shut up in my head. What the fuck is going on?
dude, you're you're like exuding pepper spray. I can fucking taste it on you. Just grab my bag, all right? Could I get a splash of that? Could I get a splash of that? It's not bad, but I can definitely get it.
probably one of the biggest videos we've ever done. One of the most important videos for the Patriot Movement as a community that we've ever done. That is. This probably, this topic, what we're fixing to tell you what right now is going to affect tomorrow, it's going to affect a week from now, it's going to affect the Patriot community a month from now. What happened today in Charlottesville uh, needs to be heard. But what really happened in Charlottesville, not what, not what Fox News is telling you, not what all of the other uh, 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 propaganda news mainstream machine is telling you. We're going to tell you what really happened in Charlottesville today. We're going to tell you why we were really here, what, what our mission was, why we came all of this way from all over the country to be a part of what happened today. We're going to tell you that. Just share it. Get it out. Let everyone know that uh, this is the truth. Fox News, shame on you. CNN, shame on you. Yeah. Mayor of Charlottesville, Virginia, shame on you. Please, 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 Chief of Charlottesville, Virginia, I don't even know you. I, I care so little about you, I don't even know your name. But I promise you, on Monday, the world will know your name. Right. Mark yeah. my yeah. words. This isn't, hey, this is my first time to ever come to Charlottesville, but I can assure you of one thing this will not be our last. This is the, 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 the people that we brought to Charlottesville this time is a fraction of what you will see in the future. We came to Charlottesville. The Patriot Movement is built on the Constitution. It's built on the ability for you and I to disagree on a topic, but agree that you and I have the right to disagree. You understand? So there was, there was an event today in Charlottesville, Virginia called Unite the Right. I don't know of anybody in this room that was either for or against the event Unite the Right. It had no bearing on why we were here. Whether we agree with the topics of Unite the Right or the speakers or what they had to say, we agree with their right or their ability or their God-given right and constitutionally protected right to have that, that freedom of speech. You understand? So the, the, whether you're Black Lives Matter, I will tell you right now that there isn't a single topic that I agree with with Black Lives Matter. What I do agree with is Black Lives Matter God-given right and constitutionally protected ability to be able to believe that way. So the reason that we as a patriot community came to Charlottesville today from all over the country, we didn't come here because we thought, we this, hey, let's, let's go stay in a Motel 8 or whatever the fuck we're staying in, <laughs> right? And let's get together and, and, and drink water and just come and party, party it up. We didn't spend our own personal money. We didn't spend our own time away from our families. We, this is a, 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 a vacation for us. No, no. no, it's, no not. it's not. Uh, we came to Charlottesville, Virginia to tell both sides, the, the, the far right and the far left, listen, whether we agree with what you have to say or not, we agree with your right to say it right. without being in fear of being assaulted by the other group. I will tell you right now, Michael Hill, I don't, I don't agree with the fucking thing that comes out of your mouth. But I agree with your right to say it, and I think you should be allowed to say it without physically being assaulted for saying it. Right. Right. Black, Black Lives Matter, I don't agree with a fucking thing that comes out of your mouth. But I agree with your right to say it. And I would stand there and fucking defend you if you were being assaulted or in fear of being assaulted for those things that I don't agree with. The right. damn cops right. sure didn't defend us, did they? No, no. Yeah. We're, no. we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk plenty about the cops as this video continues. Continue to share this group. Can sh share this. Share this message. Share this video because what we're going to tell you is going to blow your flicking your freaking mind. Yeah, I can't even look. Fox News, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Yep. Yeah. 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 You should be ashamed of yourself. CNN too. CNN, right. MSNBC, well, lo CNN. local media. media. You should be. A, did you guys know that CNN now rates below Nick and Knight? <laughs> <laughs> Dead serious. That's that, 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 that's for real. I will tell you this. There's not a man a, or a woman in the side of this room that is a racist. No. There's not a man or woman inside of this room that is, a, that, that, that is anything that we were called today. There isn't a man or woman inside this room that is, that is here for any, any other reason than to defend both of the parties, both of the, the extreme sides of what happened today in Charlottesville. That's right. What happened when we came here? We were the ones that were assaulted. Perfect. We're the ones that are on the fucking mainstream propaganda news machine yes. being called out by the mayor, by the chief of police, you fucking coward. Sarah. We're the ones that are being assaulted for coming here to defend your constitutional rights, to say the bullshit that comes out of your fucking mouths. Right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The conservatives out there need to get behind us on this one. 
This right. is bullshit. Everything they're saying is bullshit. The cops caused this bullshit. shit. Yeah. They did. On TV, there's no color. It's all white. That's bullshit. Bullshit. We, we have men that are, that are with our organizations today that are black. Yeah. As, That's right. If the color of your skin has no bearing, if you believe or dis- if you believe in the Constitution, that's the only requirement to be a part of our groups. We that have you believe, lesbians. That you believe in, in standing up and defending the United States Constitution. That's the only thing we care about. I will tell you this. Charlottesville, Virginia isn't the, isn't the first city we've been to. You guys that have watched our videos, you know that we've been from sea to shining sea, and that will continue. The things that happen today, the things that are being said on the mainstream propaganda news machine, you fucking pieces of shit, the things that you are spewing out of your mouths for ratings are going to burn you down. Yes. The, the, it's not going to deter us. It's not going to. It's not going to keep us from going going to other cities. It's not going to keep us from doing what we do. And it's damn sure not going to keep us from coming back to Charlottesville, Virginia again. We'll come back if we need to. We're coming back. We'll come back. That's the funny thing about these uh, these leftist cities that we visit. We keep having to come back. Yep. No, Absolutely. Yeah. The funniest thing is we ain't left yet. What happened today in Charlottesville was worse than Portland a couple days ago, and let me tell you why. In Portland, right. there was one police officer that was present in the entire park. Yes. Mayhem ensued. People were assaulted with skateboards. People were, were, were beat up with sticks and rocks. Oh, look. Hey, Come here, bro. Look, there's a black guy in here. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to Sh- what? What happened in Charlottesville, Virginia is a lot different than what happened in Portland. Yes. Because, because the cops were present today. They let the shit take place. We actually yep. sat back and watched yeah. them let Black Lives Matters attack Patriots. They we got the attacked. They, they, set, they, 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 set, yeah. they set the, the shit watch. up for it to take place. Yeah. I was some more proof. with sticks with them standing right there and they did nothing. And with some more proof on that, I'm over here blinded from pepper spray, blinded from maize. We're getting attacked by his heat, but I jump over to the police barricade. What did the police say? You need to get out of here before you get arrested. And did they help? I said, I can't see. I, mean, I need to get this stuff out of my eyes so I can see. Right. I don't care. You're going to get arrested. You're going to get arrested. They came in and the rest of my guys helped pull us over. Yes. Don't arrest me when I say, I need help. I reached out for them for help. Did they help? No, they did no. not help. They're no. not on our side for that. The, the cops sat back, folks, and, and, and watched us get pummeled with rocks, with, with, with water mixed with some kind of acid. I mean, they were throwing everything at us. They were Some in the of my right guys head. got sticks broke over their heads. They funneled us into them. They, they set a trap yeah, up, and they let them, they let them attack us. They were firing off smoke bombs and tear gas. Yes. Yes. I will tell you this. With, 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 what happened to, with what happened to us in our group, yeah. the cops were standing less than 30 feet from us when we were having bricks thrown at us. A man was hitting the head, and, and over, over his ear is, is, is three or four, five, six stitches. Uh, they stood there and watched it and allowed it to occur. When I asked the police officers for a medic, for, for an ambulance to respond and help that man, I was told that they couldn't help us. No. They weren't there to help us. There was nothing that we could do to carry on. When we asked for an escort, you're on your own. When we asked for, hey, can, can you get us to our, to our vehicle so we can leave? You're on your own. Yeah. I, I, what, if you are a police officer in Charlottesville, Virginia, and you believe in the United States Constitution, I ask that you you, you go to, you go Monday morning, turn your badge and your gun in, Amen. and you find a police. Amen. You find a you find you find you find, a, you find a police department that's actually going to stand up and defend the United States Constitution. You took out an oath. You raised your right hand and you swore out an oath to protect and serve. Sir. And today you did the fucking opposite. Shame on you. Your kids should be fucking ashamed of you. Yes. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's true. I watched people coming through the streets. I mean, with blood all over them. I mean, blood is a hog. Big old gashes in them. I mean, some of my guys got, got it rough. They got shit broke over their heads. They got thrown on the ground and stomped. And the cops did not shit. Not they yet. stood back with their arms crossed like this right here behind the police barriers. Yeah. They did not do shit. There are 2,000 people watching this live feed today. When the, when the, 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 the mayor and the chief of police of, Charlotte, of Charlottesville, Virginia had their press conference, Fox News had 1,300 people watching their live feed. We have a voice here. Yes. We, right. have, yeah. we, we are yeah. the fourth yeah. branch of government, the We the People branch, the one branch of government the government does not tell you about. You have the executive branch, you have the legislative branch, you have the judicial branch, and then you have us. 
We are here to hold you accountable. Chief of Police of Charlottesville, Virginia, we are here to hold you accountable. Mayor of Charlottesville, Virginia, these things that have happened over and over and over inside of your city, it is your fucking fault. You are responsible for not protecting the citizens of this community. You should be held reliable. And you are a fucking piece of shit. That's Ace Baker telling you that. Yes. I said you're a piece of shit, too. You know what? Piece of shit too. You know what? They took a flag from a girl that was holding a flag for me today. But you know what? They didn't keep it. No. We plowed into the crowd yeah. and played little bowling ball with them to get back there to get the flag. And we got the flag. That's right. Some people saw me get a little beat on on national news. Yep, I'm just fine. I'm ready for the next one. How you doing? Freedom! We we come here for many reasons today. We got we got the, the first Tennessee Rifles. They come to stand up for for basically Lee Monument. Stop on and, and the First Amendment. Uh, the Highwaymen. We come there for all the reasons. Stand up First Amendment. Come to support our our, our Southern heritage. <laughs> Folks, we didn't come to hate on anybody. No, 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 we didn't. We come here. Basically, because it was the right thing to do. We came here to, right. to respect law enforcement and the military, and Amen. they fucked us. Amen. Amen. Respect Amen. The, Constitution. the one group out of all of the other groups that was here in Charlottesville, Virginia today, the one group, the patriot community that, that stands up and defends constitutional law enforcement, you shit on us. We got to yeah. back up. Yeah. They, they, they fuck we've always, right. we've right. always right. supported the blue, have we not? We, we carry back the blue flags. That's we, right. We've we always we supported blue. the blue. The patriot community has the hugger cop challenge. The hugger patriot cop. community is the one that shakes the police officer's hands and says, Thank you, sir, for coming out and doing what you do. Yes. Today, right. Charlottesville, Virginia Police Department, shame on you. You should fucking. You, 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 you let, let us down. down. Yeah. You need to go. You if if down. you're a decent cop, just like I said, and you work for Charlottesville PD, go turn your damn badge in and go get you a job for for some for some better people. Because there were shit bags up there. Okay, I'm just I'm just saying it is. It is. I'm not completely correct. There's shit bags. Law enforcement. In response video to just about everyone in the wake of my on-the-ground reports from the so-called Unite the Right rally in Virginia this weekend. But before I begin, a word to the hundreds of individuals who reached out expressing concern and gratitude for my reports. I am now very obviously safe and sound, and I truly can't take credit for having done anything extraordinary. I just kept my camera rolling. It breaks my heart that a young woman left her house on Saturday morning and will never return. It's horrific. Her family is quite sincerely in my prayers, and I condemn James Fields' alleged actions in the strongest possible terms. I thank God for having been spared from this carnage. Now, a word to the growing chorus of haters who have called me every slanderous name, threatened to dox those closest to me, and many of whom have wished me dead. You don't define me. So please, allow me to define myself. I do not bathe in tears of white guilt. That doesn't make me a white supremacist. I oppose state multiculturalism and affirmative action. That doesn't make me a racist. I reject cultural Marxism, but that doesn't make me a fascist. I think the false song of social justice has rotted the West from the inside out, but I have never called for violence against any of their adherents. I love my country and I want its borders protected. That doesn't make me alt-right. And for Pete's sakes, I worked for a Jewish boss and I'm a Christian advocate for the one state solution for Israel. I'm not a damn neo-Nazi. When I said that the Charlottesville statement was a thoughtful document, it was not an endorsement. It was my sense that there were grounds upon which to engage in conversation, not physical combat, with the alt-right, something that I made very clear in my interviews, even encouraging the left to make a rebuttal 20-point manifesto. When I said that there is a rising in white racial consciousness, it was because I believe that to be true. It is an observation I have made and one that laid bare on the streets of Charlottesville this weekend. An observation that neither side of the US politics seems to want to admit. The promotion of identity politics combined with the declining white supermajority has led to a new movement. I'm not endorsing it, only pointing out the fact that it exists. This weekend, I intended to report on the facts wherever they led, and there were many that the mainstream media missed in their own reports, too busy condemning the alt-right and accusing me of being one of their ilk. So now, a word to you, the corporate media. What happened in Charlottesville was a stark violation of not only a group's First Amendment rights, but a federal court order. 
The police failed to uphold the law that day. They failed to keep the opposing groups separate, even when tensions ran red hot. And they failed to be present in the moments before the scene became deadly. You see, the car attack was not the only horrific scene that day. There were countless incidents of illegal deployment of mace, guns drawn, sticks and flagpoles used, and from left-wing demonstrators even more often than the right ones. Alt-left violence, it's nothing new. We've seen it at countless protests over the past year. And yet, only one group is protected by you, the media, not to mention the politicians and some police forces too. Left-wing violence at Trump rallies in Chicago, San Jose, Trump's inauguration, Berkeley, y'all just turn a blind eye. You're happy to loop the B-roll of the handful of idiots with swastika flags, but you don't say a damn thing about these scores of Antifa and BLM donning the emblem associated with even more blood of the hammer and sickle. And then you try to tie the whole thing to Trump. Well, newsflash, this isn't Trump's fault. It's the whole damn culture's fault. Decades of identity politics rammed down the throats of our young in their classrooms now permeates our corporate culture. Several months ago, I predicted a civil war was coming to America. Today, it is without hesitation that I can say that civil war has begun. No one in their right mind can look at the images that emerged from Charlottesville this weekend and deny it. From mace, shields, and flagpoles, to gas masks, Kevlar, and firearms, America is experiencing an escalating civil war a la 2017. Sure, neighbor might not be fighting neighbor in the streets without warning, but what we have seen is organized battlegrounds every few weeks where a right-wing group, be they alt-right or alt-light, organizes a rally only to be stormed by the instigating, violent alt-left. Let down by the police and then condemned by politicians, it's a dangerous cycle we have entered, one that many of us in the alternative media have been warning everyone about for months. And I'll be damned if a single person out there wishes to label me a sympathizer of violent behavior. I'm one of the very many trying to put a stop to escalating tensions in America's cultural and political civil war. So, sorry guys, just because you label everyone you disagree with a Nazi, doesn't make it the truth. We are certainly thrilled to have her. Right here we have Faith Goldie of Rebel Media. How are you doing, Faith? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. I'm thrilled. Well, well it's my pleasure. Uh, so, were you here? Throughout the, the Absolutely through all of it. And actually, I was right there during the uh, car attack while all of the police were storming your demonstration and completely a wall when uh, Antifa and BLM decide to launch the room without permit sort of a, a demonstration. So, yeah, I was there in the thick of it throughout it all. Right. Well, uh, you've been reporting on, I've seen lots of videos of your, your evidence. I guess we'll call it cultural clashes or you know, a demonstration, a counter demonstration. Have you ever seen one come down this way before? No, absolutely not. I think that the police failed on many, many accounts here on many fronts. I think that the fact that the um, police came in when you guys all had your permits and you sure uh, showed up in hordes, and I, I, I salute you all for doing just that. Um, <laughs> not a Roman salute, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, you, you guys showed out, you, you, you crossed all your T's, dotted all your I's, did everything the legit way, and then what happened was that these, these police in full riot gear come shut you down, and then they quarantine everyone into these little mini riots, and um, it, I, I've never seen anything like this, where two, three hours after the scheduled event was supposed to happen, Antifa all of a sudden, and BLM all of a sudden decided that they know exactly where to meet, where they're going to stage their little march through the streets, and I'm telling you, I saw cops in full riot gear all day, day long. All of a sudden, there wasn't a single man and or woman in uniform, well, there was mostly men, to be honest, in uniform, anywhere while this was all going down. It, it just it was very dodgy. And I mean, besides the helicopter cr crashing and God rest the souls of, of, of the men who, who were there, um, massive failures on the police front this today. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that stuff has to be planned. It has to be coordinated with the people that they are helping and disappearing for. And people are leading groups on the right, specifically the alt right, into these death traps where basically they find themselves surrounded. Not to mention the fact that the microphone today, as I understand it, was kept on the other side of the barricades. And so far as the police were basically signaling to the guys at, of the alt right who again have legal permits, you're not going to be talking today. 
Um, that, that's not, that might be on your schedule, but that's not part of what we have planned here. From a cultural point, circling back to what you were saying earlier, I have never seen any of this, I mean, all, all the violence and all that stuff aside, um, I think that anyone in their right mind, if they've been following these events, if they've been following um, alt-right events, uh, know that this was the biggest gathering of the alt-right so far. And I think that if, you know, from all over, never mind the country, the continent, mm -hmm. I'm a Canadian, and I've, I've met fellow Leafs from all over the place here today. So so whether people love you or hate you, they have to realize you are here and you are growing in numbers. Right, and, and I think that's the point of this, is that for so long, because of cultural pressure, and you know, it comes from so many things, from you know, the, the culture that happens at work because of and schools, and schools and everything that white people who have an opinion about something, if it, it might offend someone who's not white or someone who's white who has sensibilities that it might offend, they keep quiet about this and eventually it builds a, a subconscious, if not fully conscious, fear of ever speaking their mind, even on some completely reasonable point. For example, the Google executive who was just fired for his extremely reasonable, uh, I guess it was an inner office email about, you know, maybe we should rethink some of this diversity hiring stuff. It wasn't even his idea, it was science. Right, right. right. <laughs> and, and so what, what, we're, what we're doing, I think, uh, and it started with the big powerhouse websites who just push the narrative right as hard as we can. And now that we're, at, you know, the, doing that with the internet and having people able to come together on the, the, the electronic format where, oh yeah, there are all these other people who think the same way I do, and then the all right rises, and suddenly you realize, well, oh, there are millions of other people who think the way I do. Now we're starting to come out, and that's going to make all, and I don't mean that in the normal way, we're starting to come out of the house, the groups. <laughs> no, you do mean in a normal way. Well, I mean in a normal way, in a normative way. <laughs> but now we're starting to come out and enforce, and the only thing that they have left now is to sick the government on us. It doesn't matter what the courts, it doesn't matter what the courts say, it doesn't matter what the Constitution says, if they don't like it, they just going to make up an excuse, shut it down, get involved with everybody, and then the media is going to spin it as something else. And and what you have there is not rule of law. This is like uh, organized anarchy directly I'll, from above. I'll tell you right now, I think today proved that the rule of law is dead in America. The fact that there is one set of laws that is applied to the left and another side that is applied to the right. And and that does not spell a good future for America. As far as um, the cultural shift, look, um, racial identity politics is alive and well in America and it has been for decades. But it's been it's been focusing on non whites and you know that very well, uh, more so than, than most. And and what you have is a bunch of dumb white men who have been completely drenched in non white identity politics. And any time that their own race has been brought up, they're told that it's your fault, you're culpable, and, and you basically amount to zero. Um, and and you got that mixed with a whole bunch of young men with lots of testosterone uh, flowing through their veins. And this is, I think, um, from a bird's eye, a, a young man's struggle by and large. Um, that, that, that makes a bit of a, an interesting mixture. And when you tell them that, on top of everything now, that they've got this revelation, this sort of enlightenment, this, this renaissance that is occurring, um, that they can't speak, well, guess what happens historically when you shut people's mouths? They start to resort to fists. Exactly. And, and what else is there? I mean, when, when we step out to speak our minds and we're met with violence, we're not protected from it, we can either lay down and allow ourselves to basically be stomped to death by, you know, the Orwellian boot standing on your face forever, or we can stand up and oppose it. And the, I think that's the thing that the government and the left uh, and, you know, the establishment media, like, that's what they're scared to death of. And, and I would like to ask you about this. Uh, I asked uh, Andrew England about this, but we got cut off. Uh, you know, the, the media portrayal of this has been, it's all they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And there's, <laughs> right, and there's footage yeah. of 100% of it from many, many angles that we has access to. Much of it, I saw them taking it myself. But all they will show is like a couple of seconds right before this battle at this monument, last night of the torchlight torch thing, and a couple of seconds of people battling in the street in front of this thing today. They don't show what set it off. 
They don't show you what happened, and then they have talking heads come on and just explain to you what you're supposed to believe happened. The context is irrelevant in today's media, right? Um, all that matters is narrative, and we know that the cultural Marxists own the media. We know that they own academia, etc., and they're pushing a particular narrative. And if you speak against it, well, then they'll have the full force of the state and federal government ahead of, uh, on you. And, and I will say this is something that I echoed on Super Molyneux's channel earlier today. Um, I do not think it is outside of the realm of what's possible that over the next five to ten years, we will probably close to five, we will have alt-right um, men and women running for political office. And I think that, again, love you or hate you, um, people would be fools to ignore you. Yeah, absolutely. We will not be ignored. And, and that's the bottom line. Uh, once you have awakened the sleeping lion, you're in trouble. And I believe that lion's been awakened. And, uh, you know, England compares this to the beer hall push. And I think that's correct. This is the event that is going to set things in motion where all the rest of the people who think the way we think and feel the way we feel are going to decide that we are getting jobs, and their mortgages and their reputation at the country club and all that are no longer important enough for them to remain silent because this is about the future of our people. This is about a place for our children and their children and, uh, and with the traditions that have been left down to us. And in just a couple of generations, everything traditional, everything that has been believed in by the society has been completely torn asunder. Mm -hmm. And we finally have a movement that is willing to stand up and say it and articulate it clearly and intelligently. This is my America. This is the new Berlin. We have been completely steeped in all that is debaucherous, degenerate, pornographic, salacious, self-indulgent, and repugnant. And there are people, look, traditionalism does not exist because uh, it's just time-tested and true, because it's real. And I believe that uh, it is part of the human um, psyche and heart that we yearn for, uh, we hunger for, for truth. And, and folks are now waking up to it, despite decades of lies being rammed down our throats. Absolutely. And that is a great point you make.